when you first get into Seller Vantage, the first thing you want to do is go to the settings page and adjust all the settings in your account. From here, you can set up your location, the users that are going to be accessing it, the listing defaults, the eBay ad template, eBay auto feedback, and your e-commerce storefront, your e-commerce website. Now, if you're not doing consignment, you will not see any of these over here on the right. If you need to toggle whether or not you are doing consignment or are doing inventory, that would be under my location. Under my location, you'll have your store name, your address, all of the information pertaining to your address, time zone, email address, phone number. You can also change your logo here. You can reset your token if that's not the eBay token that you want to use and adjust whether or not you want to list on Craigslist and Amazon. If you need to change the merchant ID that's associated with the, the Amazon account, you can change it right here. The PayPal email address is right here, as well as if you want to be able to change the email address per item during the posting process, enter the PayPal rate that you pay, as well as the tax rate that is, that's in your state. And as far as the application mode, this is where you can toggle between selling retail, selling consignment, or doing both. We will hide information if you select retail only, and we will hide other information pertaining to retail if you select consignment only. If you need another column for location, such as A1, B2, etc., you can enable that right here. Click update to adjust your store location. Now the next one would be users. You can add new users and you can set them as manager or employee. The managers have access to everything in the system. The employees do not have access to reports nor to, to this settings page that we are going over. The next one is defaults. You can change the search type because if you're not doing consignment, obviously this isn't gonna be useful for you. You can change it for the item ID, which is set within seller vantage, the eBay listing number, the location column, or anything else that may work best for you. On the items that you take into the system, you can choose to set some default details. You can also choose to send the emails to consignment about the changes that are made in, in the status of the item. Now that's, this is only for consignment. Moving forward, if you want to show every item in queue for eBay, Craigslist, and Amazon, you can default this to all be on. Now, if you typically will only be selling on eBay, you may not want to have Craigslist or Amazon checked here. Within eBay, they have eBay custom label. You can choose to enter in our item number, Seller Vantage's item number in there, or choose to enter in the part number, location column, SKU, whatever would be helpful for you while you are on your My eBay page. The default listing type, the auction counter if you want one, the auction gallery if you choose that, the payment methods that you choose as well, any default shipping for domestic and international, and also your, your default eBay returns information as well, your Craigslist site and category as well, and then click update when you're finished here. The next setting is add templates. From add templates, you can choose the default eBay template that you want to use. You can check it out by clicking preview, and once you like the one that you've checked out, you can click select. The next section would be payments, shipping returns about, and legal. These five sections populate the bottom of your template. So generally, what you have to worry about is the title, the images, the description, and then all of these will populate underneath every single listing automatically. So you don't have to talk about in your description, your payment section, your returns, your shipping, your about, your legal information. It's very simple, makes everything so much quicker whenever you're listing. If you do make a change, let's just say you change your shipping to strictly USPS or strictly FedEx, and you want to change everything that's currently live, that can be changed. So listings that have bids or listings ending within 12 hours cannot be changed. You can schedule an update of your current eBay listings with the template section changes. The next piece is auto feedback. This section is really your buyer information. So first things first, you have uh, automatic feedback. 
You can enable random auto feedback so you do not have to worry about leaving feedback on items that were purchased. You can either leave the feedback when the item is paid for or leave the feedback whenever you receive positive feedback from the buyer. The next section is post sale notification. This is the email that goes to your buyer. After payment has been confirmed, you can change the subject, the title to be whatever it is you want it to be. And uh, just so you can reach out and possibly ask for five star feedback. You can also send a test email to yourself to see how this looks, make sure it all is laid out the way that you need it to, and then click update whenever you're finished. The last piece, whenever it comes to general settings, not talking about consignment yet, would be your storefront. The storefront is automatically generated with your client ID.svseller.com, but you can change this to whatever your domain name is.com. You just have to adjust your settings here. So if you have my ecommerce store.com, you can change your settings to where somebody that lands on my ecommerce store.com will automatically go to your seller vantage store. You can change the look and the feel of this template by changing the colors, changing the banner, and then also changing the storefront message, the about, and if you want to include auction, fixed price, or even display a certain item as being the featured item. Now, if you want to move past this and not just do just a typical eBay store through us, you can upgrade to a pro storefront, which we will go more in detail with the pro storefront on a different video.